Dear students, let us look at some more questions on the indefinite articles a uh, and an. She has bought dash dozen oranges. The word dozen begins with the sound da, which is a consonant sound. That's why we use a here. So she has bought a dozen oranges. He has dash also on his leg. Now look at the word also. It begins with the letter U and it is pronounced as A. Since A is a vowel sound, we should use an here. So he has an also on his leg. I'll be back in dash day. The word day begins with the sound da which is a consonant that's why we should say i'll be back in a day dash man came and knocked at the door man it begins with the sound ma which is a consonant so a man came and knocked at the door there was a dash ugly scar on his face ugly begins with the letter u which is pronounced as a a is a vowel so there was an ugly scar on his face. Frank is dash American. American begins with the sound a. Uh, it is a vowel sound. So Frank is an American. What dash beautiful picture it is. Beautiful begins with the sound b which is a consonant. So a beautiful picture it is. What a beautiful picture it is. This is dash historic occasion. Historic. The word historic begins with the letter H. But it is not silent in this word. It is pronounced since historic. The word historic begins with the consonant sound he. We are supposed to use a here. This is a historic occasion. He is a history teacher. A history teacher. A historic occasion. He left school at dash early age. Early begins with the sound a, which is a Vowel. So, an is used here. He left school at an early age. Common sense is dash great virtue. The word great begins with the sound g, which is a consonant. So, we say common sense is a great virtue. Animals have dash undeveloped brain. Undeveloped begins with the sound a, which is a vowel. So, animals have an undeveloped brain. So the answers to these questions are given here. She has bought a dozen oranges. He has an ulcer on his leg. I'll be back in a day. A man came and knocked at the door. There was an ugly scar on his face. Frank is an American. What a beautiful picture it is. This is a historic occasion. He left school at an early age. Common sense is a great virtue. Animals have an undeveloped brain. Now I hope you have understood the difference between a uh, and an, the two indefinite articles. As I have told you earlier, a uh is used when it is followed by a word which begins with a consonant sound. We use an when it is followed by a word that begins with a vowel sound. Is it okay? Now let us look at the definite article THC. You know that sometimes the definite article THC is pronounced as the, sometimes it is called the. The phonetic symbols are given here. First one is the, second one is the. 
Now, how do you decide when to say the or when to say the? Is there any rule which governs a pronunciation or can you say as you like? Indeed, there is a rule which controls it. So, the rule clearly says that when the word after the definite article begins with a consonant sound, we should use or we should say the. But when the word after the definite article begins with a vowel sound, we should pronounce the definite article as the. Hope you have understood. I'll give you some examples. The table. The teacher. So why do we say the table? Because the word table begins with the sound ta, which is a consonant. So we should say the table. The teacher, again, ta sound, t is a consonant. The pen, pen starts with a consonant sound, pa. Okay. So the table, the teacher, the student, the classroom, the city, the town, the prime minister, the chief minister, and so on. But we should say the engineer. Now look at the word engineer. It begins with the sound A, which is a vowel. So we should say the engineer, the orange, the apple, the MP, the MS student, the African, the American, the Asian, but the European, the British, the French, the Pakistani, the Bangladeshi. Is that clear to you? Right. Now, definite article, THE, is used with both countable nouns and uncountable nouns. When I dealt with the indefinite articles, I told you that indefinite articles can be used only with singular countable nouns. But here, THC, the definite article can be used with both singular and plural countable nouns. So, we can say the man. We can also say the men. The man, countable, singular. The men, countable, plural. The student, countable, singular. The students, countable, plural. The book, Countable singular, the books, plural, countable noun. The bench, singular countable noun. The benches, plural, countable noun. The pen, singular countable noun. The pens, plural, countable nouns. So what does it show? It clearly shows that THC, the definite article can be used with both singular countable nouns and plural countable nouns. Now we come to know that the can be used with the definite article the or the can be used even with uncountable nouns. When I taught you the indefinite articles I told you that Indefinite articles should not be used with uncountable nouns. But when we come to the definite article, we realize that the definite article can be used with both countable nouns and uncountable nouns. For example, the bread. Bread is uncountable. Rice. The rice. The coffee. The information, the money, the advice, the luggage, the furniture. So these are all uncountable nouns. 
with these words we can't use indefinite articles like a uh, and that for example you can't say a uh, bread no a uh, rice a uh, coffee these are all wrong right uncount indefinite articles cannot be used with uncountable nouns but definite article can be used with both countable nouns and uncountable nouns now the first use of the basic the fundamental use of the definite article is that when we believe that the listener and the reader know exactly what the speaker is referring to okay so what is the first use of the definite article it is used when we believe that both the listener and the reader know what exactly being referred to for example the prime minister is visiting the city tomorrow when you hear this sentence or when somebody tells you this you won't ask a question which prime minister which city because you know that the speaker is referring to our prime minister and our prime minister is visiting our city which city our city the city of mangalore who is our prime minister mr modi so the prime minister he is visiting the city tomorrow means mr modi is visiting the city of mangalore tomorrow there is no confusion the listener knows what the speaker is talking about and the speaker knows that the listener will understand what he is talking about next one the chief minister has signed the papers see in india there are many chief ministers but in our state if somebody uses the expression the chief minister we know that he is talking about the chief minister of karnataka you won't ask a question which chief minister because you know whom the speaker is referring to so the prime minister our prime minister the chief minister our chief minister has signed the papers if a speaker tells someone or the listener that the cm has signed the papers that means the listener knows what the papers are what papers are signed by the chief minister one more he has gone to the market to buy provisions sitting in bantwal if somebody says that oh he or she has gone to the market which market is it talking about definitely the speaker is referring to the market that is nearby the market to which he normally goes so you won't ask a question which market you know that is talking about the market to which the speaker goes every time so the prime minister our prime minister the city our city the chief minister our chief minister the market the market that is nearby so the location makes it particular some more examples here go to the library suppose a teacher asks a student go to the library then the student won't ask the teacher which library should i go to because the teacher knows that the student knows where the library is which library he is referring to so there is no confusion both the speaker and the listener know what the speaker is talking about i'll meet you at the railway station sitting in bantwal i tell somebody that okay i'll meet you at the railway station that means i'll meet you at the railway station in bantwal because that is the nearest railway station just imagine some some of us are sitting at a dining table and i want to add little more salt 
to the curry which I am eating. So what do I say? I ask another person to pass the salt. So then he won't ask me which salt should I pass. I say pass the salt because I can see the salt kept on the table. So the speaker knows, the listener knows what the speaker is talking about. At the college, if I tell some of my friends that I spoke to the principal, then he won't ask me which principal because he knows that I am talking about the principal of our college. Next, call the man waiting outside. So which man should be called? He is defined here by using the definite article. I am talking about the speaker is referring to the man who is waiting outside. Okay. I am not talking about any other man or a man in general. I am referring to the man who is waiting outside. So the speak, the listener knows whom the speaker is talking about. Last sentence. I met the mayor yesterday. So when I say the mayor, you know that I am talking about the mayor of our city. It has got other uses as well. The first one. When we speak of things which are the only ones of their kind. In other words, we use the definite article to refer to objects which are unique. We have got so many objects which are unique in our world. For example, the sun. Why do we say the sun because there is only one sun okay and that sun is unique so we should say the sun not merely sun in the east okay in the east east is something that is unique there is only one of its kind so the sun rises in the east that is the best in the world the world is unique there is only one of its kind clouds are moving across the sky the sky is unique the earth is a planet there is only one earth so the earth is a planet so what is the rule uh, when you talk about something that is unique we need to use the definite article before such nouns next one we use the to refer to something which has already been mentioned. When you talk about somebody or something for the first time, you need to use an indefinite article. But when you talk about the same person and the same object again for the second time, then you have to make use of the. For example, on Monday, a man stored rupees 10,000 from the bank. But when you talk about the man in the second sentence, he becomes particular because the listener knows whom the speaker is talking about. So in the second sentence, the speaker says that the thief, which thief? The man who stole 10,000 rupees. So that's how he becomes particular. He has already been mentioned in the first sentence. That's why when you come to the second sentence, he becomes particular. So the thief has not been caught yet. Look at the next sentence. Once upon a time, there lived a saint. In the first sentence, we don't know which saint it is. But when you talk about him again in the second sentence, he becomes a particular because the listener knows whom the speaker is talking about. Once upon a time, there lived a saint. Second sentence, the saint was known for his wisdom. So if you get confused, just ask the question which to the noun that is given here. We'll try it in the first sentence. One day, a man dash. Now you just imagine you are confused as to whether you should use a 
indefinite article or definite article here to re remove the confusion doubt in your mind just put a question to the noun that's given here what question ask a question which place the wh question word which before the noun so one day on monday dash man which man ask this question on monday dash man which man should do you know the answer no you don't know the answer so when you don't know the answer to the question which make use of an indefinite article okay now look at the second sentence now the thief dash thief which thief ask a question which thief do you get the answer yes you get the answer what is the answer here the thief is a man who stole 10000 rupees from the bank so since you get the answer to the question which you have to make use of the in the second sentence in the first sentence you don't get the get any answer to the question which man so a uh, is used but when you come to the second sentence which thief has an answer the question which thief gets an answer the answer is the man who stole 10000 rupees since you get the answer to the question which we make use of the in the second sentence here similarly there are two sentences here once upon a time there lived a saint which saint do you know the answer no so a saint again read the following sentence dash saint was known for his wisdom which saint which saint do you get the answer yes you get the answer what is the answer here the saint who lived once upon a time the saint whom the speaker has referred to in the first sentence so once upon a time there lived a saint second sentence the saint which saint the saint who is referred to in the earlier sentence one more sentence one more pair of sentences here there is dash position available in my team which position we don't know so there is a position second sentence that dash job dash job will involve hard work which job ah uh, you get the answer what is the answer the position available in my team so we say the job will involve hard work so look at the rule here use definite article the definite article to refer to something which has already been already been mentioned so when you get confused ask a question which to the noun that is given here if you get the answer then use the if you do not get the answer to the question which then make use of the indefinite articles now the next rule use the definite article in sentences or clauses where you define or identify a particular person or object for example the man who wrote this book is famous which man ask a question which man you get the answer here which man is a speaker talking about the man who wrote this book which man is famous he is defined here the man who wrote this book so he becomes particular next one i scratched the red car parked outside just imagine you don't need the answer here so ask a question which red car okay which red car do you get the answer yes you get the answer what's the answer here the red car parked outside so that becomes particular the noun is defined that's why we use the definite article next one i live in dash small house with a blue door ask a question which small house do you get the answer you get the answer what's the answer here i live 
in the small house with a blue door it is not the small house with a white door yellow door red door i live in the small house with a blue door so that is define he is the doctor i came to see he is which doctor which doctor is the speaker referring to he is he is talking about the doctor i came to see whom i came to see so he is the doctor i came to see it is defined so when you define or identify a particular person or object then you have to make use of the the definite article next one use the before superlatives and ordinary numbers what are superlatives adjectives like highest the best the tallest shortest the most the least etc and ordinal numbers are first second third etc examples here this is the highest building in mangalore why do we use the here because there is an there is a superlative degree highest this is the highest the adjectives is in its superlative form so this is the highest next one most that is superlative the most beautiful lady again he is the tallest person tallest is superlative so they is used next one the second time so this ordinal number the first time, we should say the first time the second time the third time the fourth time when there is superlative we should use the the best the worst the least the highest the most the tallest so what have we studied today the definite article th is pronounced as the when it is used with a word that begins with a consonant sound but when it is used before a word that begins with a vowel sound that should be pronounced as the so the doctor the engineer next one the definite article can be used with both singular and plural countable nouns the man the men the student the students the book the books the bench the benches the pen the pens the definite article can be used even with uncountable nouns like the bread the rice the coffee the information the money the advice the luggage the furniture so we use the definite article in front of a noun when we believe that the listener and the reader know exactly what we are talking about so the prime minister the chief minister the city the market and so on the library the railway station the salt on the table the principal the man the mayor next when we refer to something that is unique we are supposed to make use of the before such a noun for example the sun the east the world the sky the earth then when you refer to a person or object for the second time then we need to use the when you refer to him for the first time the indefinite articles are used when you talk about the same person or the same object once again the definite article should be used so once upon a time they lived a king but second sentence in the second sentence we should say the king in the first sentence a man second sentence the man in the first sentence a saint second sentence the saint in the first sentence a position in the second sentence that becomes the position 
next one we use the definite article when we define or identify a particular person or object for example the man which man the man who wrote this book so in other words when you know which one is a speaker referring to we should use the so the man which man the man who wrote this book i scratch dash ka the red ka parked outside so when you know what the speaker is talking about or when the speaker knows that the listener will know what is talking about whom is talking about the definite article should be used and the last one here definite article is used before superlatives and ordinal numbers like what the highest the most the tallest the second time the first time the third time so thank you so much for listening to me i'll continue with the rest of the questions in the next video